What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again with the next Guild War battle. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Today's Guild War battle is definitely going to be something special because if you guys didn't catch yesterday's video, uh, I hanged out with the Kindred Society at Channel 5705 for their Mass Summoning session. Gave my account to Miss Dubbies to pop my 19 scrolls that I had there. And uh, I was fortunate enough to pull a new natural five star. So we're going to do a quick showcase on the unit uh, and the runes uh, for those that don't know. Uh, and then we'll kind of get it into battle here. So with regards to this unit here, it's a pretty unique uh, kit. We got the first skill being able to provide a uh, stun with a 35% chance going up to 50%. A second skill, a defense breaking skill that's going to have a high chance to land as well as improving your HP, recovery HP by 50%. And then, of course... Then bread and butter of this uh, unit uh, gains the immunity against inability effects like the stuns, the freezes, the sleeps, and then increases your attack power by 20% whenever you are attacked. Um, and this will accumulate up to 10 times. So, uh, you know, uh, topping it off with that defensive leader skill, this, this unit makes it a really, really cool candidate for a multitude of builds. Uh, but the build that I'm going with today is going to be a hybrid build, uh, leaning more towards the uh, tank side of things. I'm going... HP, crit damage, HP, and trying to get the uh, attack subsets where I can. As you can see, guys, basically, uh, these runes, I mean, I, I, I'm happy with it. I mean, the, the runes look pretty good, but obviously, these are not, like, the best of runes. These are I'm just trying to make it do what it do right now. Uh, I tried to build him last night after we got off a of stream with, basically, runes that I had just kind of laying around. And so, uh, I really wanted to go with, like, a Violent Revenge set, attack, crit damage, uh, HP, or, like, a HP, crit damage, HP, with high attack and speed subsets, but I couldn't make it happen with Revenge sets, so I took two of my, uh, decent runes here that are broken and just hanging around, and use it to fill the void so that I can have a decent amount of attack, right? So, uh, obviously, with regards to this unit here, uh, this is one of those that because of the fact that it's uh, it has this value that is increased when it's a cat You know when it's attacked you definitely want to uh, consider you know building this one uh, You know playing the long game, right? So that's what I did I wanted to make sure the effective HP was pretty decent so that by the time I continuously have gotten hit ten times Or I've, I've gotten hit ten times I could st I could do a good amount of damage while still remaining uh, Relatively tanky, right? I mean you can build this guy in a YOLO fashion, but if you go YOLO you won't be able to get value out of that third skill uh, if you die too quickly, right? Nothing's going to work if you're dead. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take him into the skill war match. All right, first off here, I think we got... Okay, we got a green bar here. Let's go ahead and try to see what we can do. All right, here's the team. So, interesting comp here. I think... I think I might... Uh, I, might gam I might gamble with him downtown here. So if I go... I think the first team we're going to use him in... Well, let's see. If we go, if we go like, we should probably take one of our standard teams here for this, and then uh, downtown. I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. Um, you guys have seen it a little bit where I ran like an Orion, like a, a Jasun, and I would put like in a situation so that he can get hit and get those counter attacks in. Um, this time around, we're gonna be bringing, we're gonna switch out Leica for uh, for. Uh, Miha Wang. So we'll put Miha Wang at the lead so we can get a little bit more defense. We'll run Jasun in there for the attack buff so that we can see what kind of damage he will do uh, when he is capped off at that plus 10 considering the stats that I have, right? So as you guys know, the reason why it's going to should work pretty darn well is because of the fact that Praha, first skill hitting three times here, she's really going to help getting the uh, uh, the attack counter up, right? And then of course with the Ritesh's AoE, um, we're going to get a couple of additional attacks here. So it should work out pretty good, all right? Here we go, here we go. Oh, man. Ooh, we can silence. Should we silence? I mean, silencing really is not going to change anything because of the fact that we can we can remove the skills all day, right? So, but let's see. Let's see if we can take it out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is right there. Uh, let's see. My, oh, my God. I love this game. Can I stun him real quick? No, nope, no lucky stun. Try to get the stun in, but that's all good. All right. So the good thing about this is that uh, Theo's not going to get attacked by that. Uh, Rakan, Rakan's always going to go for the neutral element here. Since, oh my God, we got lucky there. I'll take that luck all day, every day here. Come on now. 
Let's keep it going. Got to take out but uh, better here. Rakan, obviously, with that counterattack. We don't want to mess with him right now. And let's go ahead and silence. We don't want to do any skills. And boom. All right. So we should be good here. We just got to pray that we don't have a lot of... Uh, <laughs> we don't have a lot of uh, counterattacks here. Now, if you guys didn't know, uh, my Kamun and my Iris are both built on the spare. So even though uh, this team is kind of set up in a one-hit wonder kind of fashion where I'm utilizing... Um, uh, I'm utilizing, uh, what's it called, like the, the, the benefits of Iris's passive and Kumo's passive to keep Theo alive. Um, you know, anything can happen here. So uh, here's the one thing that I'm looking to improve. As you guys can see right now, obviously this is not a synergized team, but um, out of the stats that you currently saw here, uh, the one thing that I really want to improve is the speed. Um, he has a really good base speed, so you don't need a whole lot to, to, to kind of put him where I'm where I'm looking to put him. I want him to get in that 175 speed, but right now he's sitting a little bit lower here. So um, let's see what we can do. Ooh, ooh. Let's see. Can we can we buff up right here? Oh man, that hurts right there. And I and I, and I knew it was gonna happen. You know, I just knew it was gonna happen. Like I don't even know why I'm sitting here. Like. Uh, like I'm like I'm getting excited about it. Um, oh my gosh, this is we we better not lose him like first turn, right? Okay, he should it should still be good. We got we got these units all going for different uh, monsters here, elemental advantage and disadvantages, so no one should get targeted uh, all the way here. So can we go? Okay, again, I cannot do. I almost want to just do. I'm probably just gonna do this for the heal. Right? If I do the, for the heal, um, it's not going to be... Oh, 16k. I like it. I like it. Okay, let me just heal this up a little bit. 16k with no defense break, right? So that's not too bad at all. We'll see. We'll have to see if we can get lucky here and get a uh, get a defense break on Ritesh. See what kind of damage we do here. Ooh, clutch stun. Oh, my God. Stuns mean nothing when you get... <laughs> when you get the... Uh, let me get that violent proc here. All right, all right. Mr. Wang, he's getting ready to go for it. Come on now, let's go. Let's go for Village Jewel. Now he has a little bit more. He has some defense here, so it's not going to be as strong, but it's all good. I'll take it. This reminds me of uh, some of the compositions that I utilized uh, when I first got started here. Um, Orion, Orion Theo X or Orion, like some kind of a, you know, speed tuned or something, like some kind of a DPS speed tuned, um, you know, with that. So let's see. Let's go ahead and try it out. Let's see what kind of damage we get. 25,000. Uh, yeah, buddy, I'm digging that. So this works out pretty good. Even though Chasun's heal is not going to be uh, enough to get, you know, Wang's uh, heals like up, you know, his, his HP up completely, um, I'm still going to be able to... I'm still going to be able to get a little bit of heals from a second skill. And then, of course, with the Fallen Blossoms, uh, it's a really nice combination for a unit that is uh, generally built in HP or, or, you know, generally ready to high HP pool. Because regardless of the amount uh, that he has, that Fallen Blossoms can definitely do work. All right. Here's the real test. Second skill maxed, maxed on the counters here. So let's see. Can we crit? 38,000. Wow. <laughs> Oh, man. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's go ahead and auto it out here. We should be okay. We should be okay. Uh, man, I'll tell you what. So I, 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 I'm I, getting pretty, I'm pretty excited, right? But I was talking, right? Aspire was talking to me yesterday and he was like, dude, I, I think that's like the ben, you know, the best one. I was like, dude, I, I don't know, man. I really like that Wind Monkey King, the, the, the passive, the counterattacks. Like I like it all, but... Honestly, I'm not even sweating it right now. I'm the the fact that I'm not using my like super best runes um, on, on this unit, and I'm getting those kind of stats. Um, you know, this this makes me very excited, right? Because as you guys know, we're talking about I'm just talking about Guild Wars right now. But this unit is a great unit for like a front frontline R5, uh, you know, team uh, because of his passive and how it works. This is an amazing unit for RTA because of the fact that. You have that immunity to inability effect, so I don't have to worry about will runes, uh, which is great because you guys know you have to sacrifice so much stats uh, sometimes uh, in order to you know slap on a set of will runes. So uh, I'm glad to not have to deal with that. Uh, let's see, we're gonna try to find Com so we can utilize uh, him in, in in all aspects here. Let's see, 
Next one up, it looks like it's going to be Biba. He's sitting here at a plus three with a yellow bar. Um, on the top here, I think I think we need to pray for that cleave comp. Let's see if that can do work in the downtown. We'll go ahead and utilize something here. Um, Orion, having Orion there is just going to be... It's just going to be a pain here. So I think he's going to be one of the first targets I'm going to go for. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. I'm going to do something crazy, okay? We're, let's, we got to pray that we don't we don't lose anything here. Can we go Can we go something like this? doesn't really matter where the leader skill is. Um, and then bring another bring another DPS here. Now, I want to keep it. I want to keep it. Um, I want to keep that fire one here. I want Orion to go for uh, Mihai Wang and try to try to you know proc that counter. Let's go ahead and bust out Ethna. This is this is the one thing that I honestly right right when I build Mihai Wang, I was like, I was like, uh, what am I gonna do? Can I can I build him and not like cripple any any of my units here? Right. So with regards to this unit, you guys have seen it. I have him in the hybrid fashion. So when I was initially thinking about it, I was like, oh man, let me go ahead and. Let me go ahead and you know take a look at her runes and maybe see if I can work. But again, we were able to do it without uh, too much thing. I really wanted him on a violent set. Um, I just think he's just too cool not to have one on. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get that attack buff, the shield, and then try to use we'll probably try to use the Ethna to either provide the defense break um, and then finish off for the hit, and then uh, we can have her uh, afterwards uh, utilize that third skill once that defense break is there. So here we go. Interesting comp, but we'll make it do what it do. All right. Oh yeah, this is this is that one time where I'm really happy that uh, the the fire C Emperor Okeanos did not use a second skill to go ahead and screw everything up. This could be pretty interesting, but uh, as you guys know, with regards to the Wind Panda here, um, and, and and utilizing my my uh, my Pung back here, I'm gonna be able to. Uh, knock it out because the the amount of damage that I do on all the other units that I'm that I'm hitting outside of the Wind Panda, right? I'm going to do half of the damage that I do on Theo. So uh, it's going to go ahead and ignore defense to a straight 23k, get him out of the way, and we got it done. So this is, again, another one of the cool things that I like about uh, this unit getting recently changed here. So it definitely helps out. All right. So it looks like we got a derp. I will take the uh, the derp all day, every day. Um, shoot, can we get, let's, let's get a, let's try to get a defense break in. Let's try to get a defense break in. All right. Okay. We got the counter just a little bit higher now. Still not enough, but that's all right. Oh my God. That, that, that's, a, that's, that's about how it goes down. I get the, uh, I get that, uh, what's it called? Ooh, ooh, you know what, Orion? You know what, Orion? That's right. <laughs> all right. Orion's going to mess me up. I, it's funny because I want to keep Orion in. And I want to let him like bring up the, the the trigger here, but I feel like I feel like the longer I let Orion go, the longer he's gonna mess up my other units with the uh, stuns and whatnot. So, oh man, I wimped out. That's what it came down to here. So, all right, we definitely don't want to lose any of the units, but it looks like we'll be fine. Um, I think we can go ahead and uh, auto this now because uh, we got a pretty decent jump. Oh shoot, we might now, now wait a second. We may not we may not be able to oh ooh. Do we go do we go for let's go for him. Let's try to take him out. Oh so close! Violet Proc! Ah! <laughs> okay, see here's the thing. How many times you guys watch my videos and you be like, oh yeah, let's go auto, like this is what's gonna happen, and then it, and then it hits. And it's like, wait a second, we got Kamoon in there, like Kamoon's gonna rip it up. Let's Let's not let's get let's not get a little crazy here, all right? Okay, uh, last team, last team. All right, I think this is what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna take a uh, general comp that I like to run on that top end, and then downtown. Let's have some fun here. Let's go ahead and bring uh, like a full fire team. So we're not gonna completely set up uh, a Wang for like you know total destruction here, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and stack the cards in our favor. Can we go ahead and bring? Like this, and then let's go ahead and tack on. Let's let's stack that defense up to no end. Like let's just pray that this is gonna hold. All right, so we got we got two units here that is just gonna benefit the crap out of getting hit, and then of course this one here, uh, not being able to be uh, uh, you know defense broken. Um, this should be pretty darn good. The only problem is is that Recon we have nothing to remove that immunity. So if we get if we're fortunate enough to get 
uh, the other two units down. We're going to have to deal with Rakan and Solon here. But again, you guys know Laika, super strong unit. Uh, I'm running the Vampire set on him. And then, of course, Wang has that uh, uh, that heal on the second skill. It's not a crazy amount, but hey, I'll take what I can get. So let's see. Let's see what we can do. Uh, this is my. This is literally one of my favorite teams to take on versus people that run uh, predominantly wind water based teams. Even with revive, I'm generally able to uh, generally <laughs> always eating my words here. I'm generally able to uh, to to take them out and then and then fail like I am right now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Eat those words, childish. You suck. <laughs> There it is. Okay, okay. We get that revive in. Is that revive coming? The revive is coming. Okay. Uh, ooh, this is kind of weird because I almost want to try to sleep. I want to try, try to sleep this unit. Oh, okay. We got the heals. Is it going to be enough to hold off versus steal? I don't know. Oh, wow. Glancing one time. Oh, so clutch. Oh, my God. Have you ever seen me get that <laughs> lucky? Oh. Never doubt Charlotte, okay? Never doubt Charlotte. Here we go. All right, all right. So this is the crazy thing about it. Obviously, these guys are not speed tuned. Uh, let's let's work the. Gosh, we got the Orion. The Orion. The Orion is not is not is not a good thing, right? We got to take Orion out. But we got the elements. Okay, gosh darn it. Okay, we don't want the counter attack either on the Wind Monkey King. Oh man, it looks like he's going crazy yolo here on this one. So let's see if we can get it out. Uh, the dot should kill it, yeah? The dot should kill it. Let's try to stun uh, Orion. Oh my god. I take that. Yeah, buddy. Oh man, there it is. The defensive leave is coming in. I like it. Okay, all right, all right. Come on, come on. So yeah, if you guys didn't remember, Sin, uh, the Fire Marshal Artist here, actually gets additional damage um, you know, based on that defensive mechanic here. So if you guys haven't seen this, right, uh, we get some additional damage proportionate to the defense if your defense is higher than the opponent. So yeah, very, very cool. I love this unit. Um, obviously, I like to pair him with um, either some, some kind of unit that's going to provide him that defense lead or like a Bastet. Bastet is like probably optimal there um, with that with that uh, defense uh, lead as well as the attack buff and the shield, right? Just keeping him alive. So, okay. Looks like Sin has to go, but that is all right. I don't feel like these two units are going to die. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. Well, I think we made it three for three. I think that was the last battle. Um, that's going to be it, guys. We are literally uh, days away from the Mobile Masters Invitation event. Okay. June 23rd and June 24th. Uh, for those that are going to be in the area, I hope to see you all there. Um, I believe the stream is going to be starting at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So definitely tune into that. Uh, keep in mind that if you are wondering where it's going to be or how you're going to be able to see it if you're not there, uh, take take a take a look at our uh, Twitch channels. We're looking to get everything all set up so that everybody that's involved uh, can basically watch w whichever YouTubers or streamers uh, Twitch channel that they have going on so you guys can see it live in action. All right. So that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in for this Guild War battle featuring Mihao Wang. It's your boy Childish, your Childish Plays. Check it out. Take care. And we will see you next time, guys. We're out.